Yours completes his pre-flight checks. It is my distinct privilege to describe for you a capability demonstration by the world's most heavily armed and armored close air support aircraft, the rugged and dependable A-10 Thunderbolt II. shorter runways and conventional fighter attack aircraft. Captain Kachukos demonstrated that capability today when he lifted off at only 1,500 feet. In fact, even with a 16,000 pound bomb load, A-10s can still take off in less than 4,000 feet. Because of his toughness, tenacity, and devastating good looks, the people who know it best, the pilots who fly it, and the mechanics who maintain it have unofficially dubbed it the Warthog. Built to the A-10's big airframe are responsiveness, simple Simplicity, survivability, and lethality. Today, these battle-tested aircraft are assigned to Air Force units around the world, including Europe and the Pacific. Here at home, Air Combat Command, the Air National Guard, and the Air Force Reserve all fly the A-10. Ladies and gentlemen, from the right, Captain Kachukos and the A-10, Thunderbolt 2. Captain Kachukos is now repositioning the A-10 for a slow roll along the show line to demonstrate the A-10's precise handling characteristics. As Captain Kachukos rolls the A-10, you may notice a fake canopy painted on the belly of the aircraft directly underneath the cockpit. This false canopy is designed to deceive enemy ground troops as the A-10's direction of turn. Now from the left, Captain Kachukos and the slow roll. Kachukos is now repositioning the A-10 for a pass down the runway, where he will perform an aileron roll at show center. During this maneuver, he will demonstrate the A-10's rapid roll capability by rolling his 35,000-pound aircraft at almost 200 degrees per second. And now from the right, Captain Kachukos demonstrating the A-10's rolling maneuverability. Captain Kuchukos is now performing a classic aerobatic maneuver, the Cuban 8. It's the A-10's remarkable maneuverability that enables it to perform its close air support mission. Twisting and turning low over the battlefield, the Warhawk can deliver devastating firepower, destroying targets close to friendly ground forces. In in its arsenal are a wide variety of modern weapons, including Maverick missiles, unguided and laser-guided bombs, cluster bombs, rockets, 30mm bullets, and AIM-9 air-to-air missiles. All of these weapons have been used to attack enemy forces in Iraq, Bosnia, Kosovo, and Afghanistan. After Captain Kachukos completes this half of the Cuban 8, he will fly his aircraft straight into the vertical, demonstrating the A-10's power and maneuverability in all attitudes of flight. The A-10's two General Electric turbo fan engines add more than just power to its performance. They're also smokeless and much quieter than comparable engines. This makes the airplane much harder to hear and aids immensely in achieving tactical surprise when attacking from all altitudes. The A-10's engines are also fuel efficient, enabling it to fly more than 2,000 miles without refueling. 
Captain Kachukos is now repositioning his aircraft to perform a level 360 degree high G turn. It's the A-10's quick turn rate and small turn radius which enables it to work effectively over the battlefield, even under marginal weather conditions. just completed that turn in only 1,400 feet. On the battlefield, this capability allows a pilot to employ his weapons and turn quickly to outside the enemy air defenses. Captain Kuchukos is now positioning his aircraft to demonstrate the A-10's slow speed controllability at the final approach airspeed of 120 knots. This slow speed approach will give you a good chance to see the A-10's paint scheme, one that's designed to make it more difficult to pick up visually. This design also reduces infrared radiation, which helps the A-10 defeat enemy heat-seeking missiles. And now from the right, Captain Kuchukos and the slow speed pass. During World War II, the original Flying Tigers led by... working together, enemy forces could expect to be under 810 fire once every 10 to 15 seconds. Facility to the Hogs Arsenal of Weapons.